Hoo-ya! This is Robin from the Backpank Seeker Podcast, and today, guys, we are going to talk about if it's good to have a hot bath when you have sciatica. So, here's the important question. How can back pain sufferers like us, who don't want to use prescription drugs or go through surgery, heed our back pain? How do we live our daily lives in a way that allows us to go to work, take care of our families, enjoy life, and still manage our back pain? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Robin Wakem, and welcome to Back Pain Secrets. Welcome back, guys. So today's topic is, is it good to have a hot bath when you have sciatica? But before we get into all of that, I'm going to talk about something else, you know? Just a short story, and I'm all going to be related to your sciatica and back pain, so listen up, okay? As you guys might might now know by now, I'm on vacation, okay? I've been doing these podcasts or over the past three weeks. It's a long vacation, you know? It's the longest vacation I've actually had for... 15 years, you know, I had three weeks off. I'm loving it and uh, I'm doing these. I'm working a bit, you know, just taking the emails and also uh, doing these podcasts that I really enjoy that actually relaxes me. It's like my own therapy. Okay, so it's great. Anyway, so over the past six months, I've been doing this online stuff heavily, you know, doing the, the marketing for it. And that's brand new for me. I've, I've, I work as a back pain specialist for, for 20 years. I have some knowledge. I wrote a book and I want to get that out to the world, right? So I'm behind the computer. I'm, I'm, I'm working quite a lot, you know, like 70 hours a week trying to get my message out. And because of that, I haven't exercised as much as I used to, you know. I put on a few pounds, you know. I put on like two and a half, three kilos, maybe, you know, and uh, <clears throat> I even feel a bit bit uh, of lower back pain because I'm sitting more than I used to and I'm feeling it, you know. So over the vacation here, I, I decided, you know, to live a bit healthier, you know, even start to run a bit. I'm a big walker, like, you know, if you follow me on Instagram and all of the posts, it's all about walking, you know. And I haven't done like serious running for the past 10 years, okay. So I'm coming to 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 the vacation vacation here with my mom and we're visiting all my relatives and and my brother and his wife and his kids and, and uh, other relatives. And first off, I had like this big thing that I'm going to eat really healthy, you know, um, which is the first step, you know, to reduce a bit of weight, you need to to eat healthy. So I'm drinking my water and I'm also uh, eating healthy, you know, mostly salads, beans and, and reducing the bread and all that, you know. But then again, it's on. I'm on vacation. I had my two kids here, my wife and everything. And each night, everyone of the family members are doing their own thing for dinner, you know. So we had pizza and we had all the good stuff, you know. So that worked out for like two and a half, three days. I was doing this super healthy thing. Then I said, you know, it is vacation. I need also to relax a bit. So I'm, I'm eating more or less what they're eating as well, you know, just because it's vacation and stuff. So I'm putting on a bit of weight from just doing that, you know, I'm eating more bread and, and a bit of more crap. But at least I'm going to do the running, okay, the running stuff. So I start to run and I really hate running for some reason, you know. Um, I was playing ice hockey, I played soccer, so I've done quite a bit of running before. But for some reason, I, I've never been a runner, you know. So I was out running here. I was out running with my beautiful wife Linda. We had a few few laps here or a few few runs together. And when we were running out, you know, we we ran past the lake, and she was like just talking about the scenery and all of this stuff. And I got kind of annoyed first, you know. <laughs> when I run, I want to be I want it to be quiet, and I'm I'm looking down to the road quite a bit, you know. I don't understand why I do this, but but. Uh, when she was explaining what she was seeing, you know, I actually looked up and looked around. There's woods, there's birds, there's all kinds of stuff to look at, you know. It was beautiful, beautiful. So I had one of this, these kind of epiphanies when I was out running that I need to, like, start to look up, you know. Look look up from the road and just look around. Look at the scenery, look what all the beautiful stuff that's going on. That's also going to make it more pleasurable. So the runs I had with my wife here during the vacation has been really an eye opener for me. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm looking up. I'm, I'm I'm taking in the scenery. So I'm definitely in getting in more into the running stuff again. Even though I'm not a good runner, I'm just like out like <laughs> moving my legs. You know, but it's good. Uh, so that that's my 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 suggestion to you. You know, if you 
You can apply this like looking up and look what, what's around you uh, that's beautiful in all aspects in your life. You know, even at work, you know, everyone's coming back to work now after vacation. A lot of people that go back to work, they don't like their work, you know, but you should really look up, you know, maybe you should look up and try to appreciate the people that you're working with, you know, maybe the people that you're working with aren't like the, your, your favorite people in the world all the time. But a lot of them are, are quite nice. You need, need, need to do that, you know, and, 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 and open up your horizons a bit, you know. Could be other aspects, you know, doing exercise, for example, if you have back pain, you know, the struggle that you're going through now, you have the back pain, you have problems sleeping, you have problems like just getting around doing your, your ordinary stuff during the day. And of course, you shouldn't like love to have back pain, but you should maybe just lift up your eyes and look around, you know, and, and see that this is an opportunity for you to grow, that you're going through something now uh, in your life that is painful, that is hard, and you're gonna get through this. And when you've done that, you're gonna enjoy being healthy more, okay? You're gonna take care, better care of yourself. You're not gonna take everything for granted, okay? So it's, it, this stuff, just looking up and, and looking around, you, you can really apply that to a lot of aspects in your life, you know? It's very, very important. Okay, sorry about the rant, guys. I need to get that out. And I think most of you guys that are in different aspects in your life, you can use this just looking up and appreciate what you have and, and, and take it in, okay? Okay, to back to today's topic. So is, is, um, is it good to have a hot bath when you have sciatica and lower back pain? <clears throat> and as always, I'm gonna, uh, I have a patient, uh, patient way back. Uh, her name is Carol, she's 36 years old, she's female, and she's been suffering from lower back pain and sciatica for about two years now. She had a bad fall when she was um, in the tube, tube station, when she, she walking up the stairs there, she actually had a fall. She fell on her bum or, or buttocks and she injured her tailbone. You have a little tailbone in your buttocks and she actually sat on it and it got really, really irritated. It got inflamed and it started off like that. So whenever she sat, she needed to have like a cushion to sit on. But this pain has spread. It spread to her lower back and also now for the past year, it's, it's gone down her left leg, down her calf and down to her toe and um, toes or feet it's been horrible really for her, you know usually she 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 she's a bit overweight uh, she's average height she loves going to the gym and she goes out for a run uh, and and she's active like three or four times a week but she can't do any of that right now because of the pain okay from the from the lower back pain and the radiation down her leg so internally she she's 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 uh feels this lower leg, uh, lower back pain, leg pain, and she described it to me like someone is like punching her in the side and sticking a knife in her buttocks, okay? So it's horrible stuff. And she, 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 it's on her brain constantly, you know, constantly. And it affects her, like the external stuff that's happening in her life, it's, it's affecting her, her entire life, her daily routine, you know. She can't really go shopping like she enjoys to do. She can't go to, to, to the coffee shop with her uh, friends, just sitting down having a chat. She needs to stand up uh, and she can't really enjoy the conversation. She can just drive for maybe five, 10 to 15 minutes and she has problems sleeping, you know, maybe three, four hours uh, in conjunction. So she's always tired, she feels sluggish uh, and she's irritated as well, you know. Then uh, like six, seven months back, she, she got sick of it, you know. So she visited a physiotherapist that was checking her out and giving her some tips and routines. And the, the person she visited told her that her SE joint was, 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 was blocked up, you know, locked. So he put her on her stomach, you know, and just did some manipulation to this joint. And the pain was horrible. She she had a big scream in, in the office there. And then afterwards, she could, couldn't walk home at all. You know, she couldn't take the tube or the bus or anything. A friend of her had to come and pick her up, drove her back in the car. And for two weeks, she was off work on heavy medication painkillers. So that kind of scared her quite a bit, you know. So... 
during this stuff, uh, during this period of time, uh, she's gotten all kinds of different advice. You know, she should use uh, physiotherapists, acupuncture, osteopaths, uh, chiropractors, hot, cold, whatever, you know. But the stuff that's really worked for her the best is to have a really hot shower. So she has these hot showers maybe twice a week twice a day now for 10-15 minutes and that really helps her quite a bit. So when she came in, Carol, to me, she had this conflict she was struggling with because most of the people she'd been talking to and told her that if you have sciatica pain you should use cold, okay, the cold, you should use cold on your sciatica because that really helps uh, helps the sciatica, the inflammation, you know. The the warm stuff, uh, the heat helps because it r relaxes the entire body and it also increases blood flow and circulation in the area. But she was a bit confused what to use, to use the, the cold or, or the heat, you know, the warmth. So when I she came to me, we had a chat about this and I told her, it's like, this, you know, your body and your condition is very specific to you. Each individual is unique. So if the warm stuff, the heat is working better for you, you should go with that, you know, and you should listen to what your body says to you, you is, 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 is feeling good and nice. So I told her, you know, you can even do more of the, the warm stuff if it feels good. So we talked about having, having a hot bath instead, you know, and lying in the bath for maybe 15, 20 minutes a day, doing breathing exercises, doing some like uh, meditation, listening to some music during the time as well, just to calm the nerves. So she didn't have a bathtub at home, but her parents that live quite close had. So she's going now two or three times a week home to her parents. Uh, she has a dinner there and then she goes for a bath, okay? She also had a sauna uh, at her uh, gym. So she's going to the gym and she's having a sauna two or three times a week. So in... in, in I, get, I went through all the other ordinary stuff like walking, you know. She's doing a half an hour walking in the morning and half an hour walking in the afternoon. She's she's uh, doing breathing exercises. She's doing some light meditation. She's also doing the, these using the heat to reduce the pain, okay? So that that's like the, the the theme of today, you know? Whatever information you get from different therapists and friends and stuff, you need to may listen to them, you know? But you need to, to test it out and whatever is working for you, you need to to, to go with that, okay? No, you, there's not like one treatment that fits everyone. You need to, to, to feel what's good for you and whatever is working for you, you need to do more of that, okay? That's about it for today, guys, okay? And before I go here now, you know, I want to ask you guys uh, a favor, okay? I'm doing these pod... I'm doing daily podcasts. I'm doing the Instagram stuff. I'm putting this information out. So if you enjoy it, if you think I'm, I'm providing value, you know, pre please share my... The, the, this episode and other episodes as well, you know, if you feel it's good. If it's not, you know, don't. And if you want to leave a comment, that'd be great, you know. I'm trying to improve this. I, I hope you feel that I'm passionate. I want to get my message out, okay. And I want to improve my, my the message I'm putting out there and, and the content. So just, just share my stuff and also comment, positive or negative. Just, just give me a few reviews, you know, so I, I can improve. I love you guys. Take care. And guys, remember, you're just one step away from healing your back pain. Bye-bye. Want more back pain secrets? Then go ahead and get your free copy of my best-selling book, Back Pain Secrets, at backpainsecrets.com. Inside this book, you will find my top secrets to healing your back pain without prescription drugs or surgery that have helped thousands of other people just like you.